So we're diving into like uh, this article all about Whoopi Goldberg, right? It's yeah. about her 69th birthday on The View. Ah, uh, yeah. And I gotta say this one joke about like, you know, her saying something like, being eaten from time to time. Yeah. It really kind of stuck with me. Yeah. So just for anyone who might not know The View, it's a daytime talk show, like with a panel of women and they talk about current events and like all sorts of hot topics. Mm -hmm. And they seriously went all out for Whoopi's birthday. Yeah, they did. You know, they had like a whole wheel of cheese thing, but it had Whoopi's face on it. Wow, that's something else. Yeah, it was pretty wild. It's kind of amazing though, right? Like how a joke can tell you so much about a person, you know? I mean, this one little thing, it speaks volumes about Whoopi Goldberg's comedic, like, genius, I guess you could say, and how she really just fits in on a show like The View. So you've got to picture the whole scene, right? She's standing there right. next to this massive wheel of cheese, like 24-month-aged Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, wow. How and then she just drops this line. Uh -huh. But she does it with this perfect mix of mischief and innocence, you know what I mean? I, I totally get that. It's that kind of double entendre humor that, like, really works, because the audience knows her. You know, mm -hmm. she's this fearless, outspoken woman and she pushes boundaries. Right. The joke lands because it's unexpected and because it's ambiguous. And because it's whoopee. Right. Exactly. It's all in the delivery. Oh, and you can't forget about Sarah Haynes' reaction. Like, yeah. she completely plays along with it. Right. Pretends to be all scandalized and walks off the set. Perfect. There's this perfect comedic timing. Uh-huh. But then whoopee, like, brings it all back around, right? Yeah. She clarifies that she was just talking about the cheese. Of course. Which, you know, she says is one of her favorite things. Looks naturally. So she keeps it lighthearted, you know, perfect for a birthday celebration. Right, right. I think this whole episode really shows us what Whoopi's all about, you know? Yeah. She brings this fearlessness and fun to the view. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, she's got this background as an Oscar winning actress mm -hmm. and a stand up comedian. Right. That's got to shape how she approaches daytime television. For sure. Like, she's not afraid to be a little edgy, you know, to make people think. And to laugh. Exactly. <laughs> and to make us laugh at something unexpected. And she pulls it off with such charm, yeah. you can't help but love her. You know, it's kind of crazy to think about how long she's been on the show. How long has it been? She joined back in 2007. Oh, wow. And her sense of humor and how she tackles these tough topics, it's got to be a big reason why the show's still going strong. You know? Oh, yeah. I think so, for sure. Like, it's still relevant in pop culture. Totally. So it's like this whole thing reminds us that humor can be such a powerful tool. Yeah. It's not just about entertainment, right? Right. It's about connecting with people, sparking conversations. Getting folks to think a little differently. Yeah. Even if it's just for a moment. And Whoopi, even at, like, a simple birthday party, she shows us how a well-placed joke can make us laugh, think, and maybe even see the world a little differently. For sure. So... Like, here's something I was thinking about, and I'm curious to know what you think. Okay. How do these seasoned comedians, like Whoopi Goldberg, how do they keep surprising us? That's a good question. You know, even in daytime television, where it's like, you kind of know what to expect. It makes you think about the power of humor, you know? Mm -hmm. And maybe, just maybe, it tells us to never take ourselves too seriously. I like that. Never take ourselves too seriously. It's too short a life to do anything else. Exactly. Well said. Thanks. Well, that's all the time we have for today's deep dive. Ah, too bad. Thanks so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. And thanks to all of you for listening. Hope you had fun. Until next time. See you later.